Hello everyone! Para sa last topic na covered ng third quarter, ang ipapaliwanag natin sa video na to ay tungkol sa angle by sector and perpendicular line. Meron tayong dalawang objectives. Una, to construct angle by sector and perpendicular lines. Pangalawa, to determine the indicated measure of the side and angle. Remember that an angle bisector is a ray that separates an angle into two congruent angles. And we have some steps in constructing the angle bisector. So let's have say uh, let's say meron tayong angle A. Okay, so gagamit tayo ng construction tool na kung saan sa ating kaliwa meron tayong iba't ibang mga tools, measuring tools. So Yan, gagamit tayo ng ruler para gumuhit ng isang angle. So, after we draw an angle, we will be labeling it as angle A. We can use different colors of the pen. So, yung vertex natin will be named as A. So, meron na tayong angle A. Ngayon, gamit ang compass and the vertex of angle A as the center. So, ayan. Kukunin ulit natin. Mukhang hindi na click mabuti yung ating compass. So, yan. Meron na tayo. We need to make sure na nakalock. Okay, nakalock. Ayan, pwede natin i-clear kung nagkamali tayo. Ayan. Ipi-place natin yung yung pointed ng compass doon sa vertex A to be the center and then magdo-drawing tayo ng arc intersecting the sides of angle A. So, we already have this arc. Kung mapapansin nyo, merong intersection between the sides or on the sides of angle A. At ililabel natin yung intersections na to as B and C. Then, Susunod na step, after natin i-label ang mga intersections, we gonna use B as the center and with radius more than half of the measure of angle A and then draw an arc. So, gagamit ulit tayo ng another color para makita ninyo yung arc na ating i-drawing. Ayan. For the next step, using C as the center and with the same reviews, we use in step number 3, draw an arc. So, uulitin lang natin yung ginawa natin sa step number 3. So, kung makikita ninyo, there is an intersection between the two arcs. At ililabel natin yan as D. Then, for the last step, we can use the ruler to draw the ray AD.
Ayan. So, magkakaroon tayo ng ray AD. So, in other words, tapos na tayo sa construction, it only shows the construction of angle bisector of angle A, which is the angle BAD is congruent to the angle CAD. So, ray AD is the angle bisector of angle A. Now, for the steps in constructing the perpendicular bisector of a segment, remember that a perpendicular bisector of a line segment is a line segment, line, or ray perpendicular to and passing through midpoint of the given segment. So, sa parehong construction tool natin, una natin gagawin is to draw segment AB using a ruler. After we label the segment as AB, using your compass or using our compass, a as the center and with radius more than half of AB. So, kaya na ginawa natin, need natin i-lock yung ating compass at yung ating A, vertex A, will be the center of our uh, drawing, no? So, i-unlock natin and then we need to have more than half of AB. And then, draw arc cutting segment AB. Okay, so gamit tayo ng ibang kulay para mapakita natin yung arcs o yung arc natin. Ayan. Sunod naman na step, ilipat natin yung compass sa B. So using B as the center and with the same radius, you use in step number 1, draw an arc intersecting the arc you draw in step 1. So, we need to uh, use another color para makita natin yung dalawang arcs. So, since kung makikita ninyo, yung ating red arcs ay bitin, babalikan natin siya at i-extend natin. Para makikita natin yung intersection ng dalawang arcs. Okay, so, we've already seen the two intersections of the two arcs, we can label these intersections as C and D. And after that, using a ruler, we connect C and D. This will be the intersection of segment AB and Segment CD. So, the intersection of the two segments will be named as X. So, segment CD is the perpendicular bisector of segment AD. So, i-apply natin sa examples. Segment KM is the perpendicular bisector of segment LN. If LK is equal to 3Y minus 5, NK is 2Y plus 7, 
and LM is Y plus 10, find LK and NM. Find LK and NM. Solve for the value of Y. Since LK is equal to NK, we can have 3Y minus 5 is equal to 2Y plus 7. And by subtraction property of equality, we subtract 2Y on both sides. And also, addition property of equality, we add 5 on both sides. So, we will be having 3y minus 2y is equal to 7 plus 5. Then simplify, y is equal to 12. Since we already have the value of y, we can now find the measure of lk by substitution. So, lk is equal to 3y minus 5. We substitute the value of y to the given expression, so 3 times 12 minus 5. So 36 minus 5 is 31. The measure of LK is 31 units. Now we have to find NM. Since the value of y is 12, nm is equal to lm, and lm is equal to y plus 10. By substitution, 12 plus 10 is equal to 22. Therefore, the measure of nm is 22 units. Example 2. So segment KM is the perpendicular bisector of segment LN. If the measure of angle L is equal to 2x plus 14, the measure of angle 2 is equal to 4x minus 50, find the measure of angle 1. So, we solve for the value of x. Since the sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees, the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 2. Since segment KM is the perpendicular bisector of segment LN, we have the measure of angle L plus the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. As well as the measure of angle L plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. We can now solve for the value of x. Through substitution, we will, become, we will be having 2x plus 14 plus 4x minus 50 plus 90 is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, combine like terms. And by applying some properties, so we have 2x plus 4x is equal to 180 minus 14 plus 50 minus 90. Simplify further, so 6x is equal to 126. And by division property of equality, but, uh, we divide both sides by 6, so the value of x is 21. Now, we need to substitute the value of x for us to find the measure of angle 1. Since the measure of angle 1 is just equal to the measure of angle 2, and the measure of angle 2 is 4x minus 50, we simply substitute the value of x. So, 4 times 21 minus 50 is equal to 84 minus 50, that is 34. Therefore, the measure of angle 1 is equal to 34. Full number 3. So we have the figure. And ray LD is the angle bisector of angle CLE. If the measure of 
angle CLD, so CLD, is equal to 2x, and the measure of angle ELD, so ELD, is equal to x plus 12, find the measure of angle CLE. So we need to solve for x. Since the measure of angle CLD is just equal to the measure of angle ELD, we substitute 2x is equal to x plus 12. And by subtraction property of equality, okay, we minus x on both sides. So we have 2x minus x is equal to 12 and x is equal to 12. we already have the value of x, we will be substituting it to the given expressions. So since the measure of angle CLD is equal to 2x, we substitute 12 to x. So 2 times 12 is 24. So the measure of angle ELD is equal to x plus 12, and we need to substitute the given value of x which is also 12, and then 12 plus 12 is 24. So the answer here, the measure of angle CLE is equal to 48. So that's the end of our discussion for this video. I hope you learned something today about the angle bisector and perpendicular bisector. Thank you for watching.